Praise the Lord. I welcome all of you to today's service. Beloved, we thank God for allowing us to live even today, and he being our God. In fact, we are in a very difficult moment, and these times are not normal times. Therefore, many people are in fear. Many people do not believe anymore. Many people think the Lord has abandoned them. But I can assure you that this is the time that our faith must be stronger than ever before. This is the moment that we must have faith, confidence, and rely on our God. For our God is still in charge. He is still the owner of the world. He still controls the world. I can tell you that this coronavirus, what we normally call COVID-19, has brought so much fear into this world. Heads of governments, presidents, prime ministers, do not know what to do. They are trying their best. They are doing all what they could. But it's difficult. But I can tell you that the answer is Christ. Today, I want to encourage you with the word of God that Jesus is the shepherd of your soul. Turn with me to John chapter 10, verse number 8 to 11. I read, All who come before me were thieves and rubbish, but the true sheep did not listen to them. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. Amen. Jesus is called the good shepherd. We have many shepherds, but not every shepherd is good. But Jesus is a good shepherd. He's a good shepherd in a sense that he takes care of his sheep. He do not abandon his people, his sheep. He takes care of them. He even lays down his life for his sheep. Where there is death, Jesus shows up with life. He is not only called a good shepherd. Hebrews 13, 20 says that he is a great shepherd. If we say something great, it is higher than even good. He is a great shepherd because he is a warrior and a fighter and a winner. Wherever he, he goes, he brings victory. Wherever you find Jesus, you see life because he is life. The Bible says that Jesus is life. Therefore, if you want life, you must come to him. If you want life, you must believe in him. He is a great shepherd. Great people fight for their people. Jesus fights for his people. He never abandons his people. He always fights for his people and save his people. First Peter chapter 5 verse 4 says that Jesus is a chief shepherd. He is the leader of all things. He is the owner of the world. He is the creator of the world. The world is his. Bible says that everything in it is for him. He made all things. Nothing was made 
Without him, nothing was made. That has been made. For in him is life. And the Bible declares that that life is the light of man. Jesus is great. He is a great leader. He is a great leader in the sense that he never abandoned his people. He never shy away from difficulties. In these difficult times, if you are in him, I can assure you that your life is in him. I am a pastor and a shepherd. But today, I cannot visit any member of mine in a hospital because the government's law forbids me from doing that. So I cannot go. And I cannot even admit people with coronavirus in my house because I do not want to be infected. But I am a leader. But Jesus isn't like that. Jesus is with you wherever you are. Whether you are infected or not, he never abandons. He is still with you. And he makes sure he takes care of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, I am introducing Jesus to you. That there is no life without him. You cannot talk about life without Jesus. Men and women of God, this is the time we must have great faith in him. It is the moment we must trust him. It is the moment we must stick to him. He is the owner of all things. He can do everything because everything came into this world because of him. He is life, and that life is the light of man. Jesus, the good shepherd. The Bible says that the sheep knows the voice of the shepherd. And he, Jesus, knows your voice. The Bible says that he has called you by your name. And he knows you. He knows you by your name. And he knows you by your voice. Therefore, he never abandons. He knows individuals. He knows every one of us. Therefore, even as we trust him, wherever you are, he knows where you are. And he is able to take care of you. A good shepherd takes care of his sheep. And Jesus is the great shepherd. He is the chief shepherd. He knows you by your name. And he knows you by where you are. He never abandons. I can assure you, in these unprecedented times, Jesus will lead you. In fact, I do not know tomorrow. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. But I can assure you that Jesus knows tomorrow. He knows where he's taking us to. He knows where tomorrow will be. He knows where we will be tomorrow. He knows that he will never leave us. He will take us home safely. In him, there is safety. In him, there is love. In him, there is hope. In him, there is life. Trust in Jesus. Depend on Jesus. Be with Jesus. Stay with Jesus, and he will never abandon you. He knows you. The Bible says that he calls you by your name. He calls you by your name. He doesn't allow you to be in trouble. Even when you sleep, because he's a good shepherd, the Bible says that he comes to you and carry you on his arms and take you to the fold. This is Jesus I'm talking about. He knows how to care for people. He knows how to keep his people safe. It doesn't matter. He doesn't abandon you. He will be with you. So the Bible declares that in Psalm 23, verse 4, that even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, you fear no evil, for he, Christ, will be with you. Jesus will always be with you. And as we walk in through this coronavirus era, the time that sicknesses 
This virus has dominated everywhere. And everybody lives in fear. I am saying that may you have faith in Jesus. Because in him there is no fear. For he do not give us the spirit of fear. But he has given us the spirit of boldness. This is not a time for Christians to fear. It is the time to have confidence and trust in him. That he will surely see us through. Beloved in the Lord. It is Jesus. Only in Jesus. That we can have tomorrow. The, only in Jesus. That we can be saved. Only in Jesus. That we can live in safety. Only in Jesus. That we can say. We have life. For he can do all things. A good shepherd. Dies for the sheep. Let me say this. Who will die for you? Jesus demonstrated that on the cross. On the tree he died for us. That whoever trusts and believes in him will have life. He will never, even if he has done this for you. The Bible says that. What else can he do for you? He can do everything. For even God did not spare him Jesus. And gave him up for us all. What else can he give to us? Everything you need, he is able to give it to you. He is able to help you. He is able to be with you in these this difficult times. Only Jesus can be with you. All of us have been asked to stay home. Yes, we are in our houses. But I can tell you, Jesus never abandons. He is with you, even in your home. Now, even as I'm speaking, he is with me here, and he is with you in your home. That makes him God. He is in everywhere. And even once he's in everywhere, he takes care of everybody. It is Jesus that can give you life. Give your life to him. Stick to Jesus. Move with him. The world has become chaos. Nobody knows what to do. But Jesus knows what he's doing. Tomorrow, it will be over. But let me ask you, who is your God? Who do you trust? Who is your shepherd? Who is guiding you through life? Who do you believe? If you believe in Jesus, then I can assure you that life is not as you see. In him is life. And that life is the light of men. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. May the Holy Spirit guide you. May the Good Shepherd guide you through this unprecedented moment that you will not stay and live in fear, but you will stay and live for him. For Apostle Paul said, if I live, I live for him. For even if I die, I am his. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord guide you so that you continue to believe in him and you continue to lead your life through him so that you will never live in fear, but you will live to please him. Let us pray. Gracious Father, the maker of the ends of the earth, we believe that, Lord, when we are weak, you are our strength. Today, let your word be true for us, that, Lord, you exchange our weakness and our fears for your strength and your power, that, Lord, the people that you have called by your name, Lord, we will have confidence and strength and power in you, O God, that we will rest in you. I pray, O Lord, that those who are in fear, who are living under fear because of this coronavirus, I pray that, Lord, you continue to reveal yourself unto them and give them hope in you and give them power in you, and give them strength in you, and give them the enablement to carry on life, O oh God. The Lord our God, you cause many to come to faith. You cause many to come to know you. Because, Lord, there is a reason for all this. And we believe that, Lord, there is life in you, and only you can give life. I pray, my Lord, committing all the health workers into your hands, the Lord, because of their sacrifices, may you shield them. May you protect them. May you guide them. May you sustain them. My Lord, my God, protect them against these deadly diseases so that they will not be infected. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, that my God, you are still in charge of this world. I pray that, Lord, you bring this coronavirus to an end so that the world will celebrate you. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, those who are sick in the hospitals and lying on the hospital beds, my Lord, we send, we send your word to go and heal them. In the name of Jesus, those who are at home, oh God, let your healing hand touch them, oh God. Let them be healed, oh God, so that all of us, all of us, will come to know you that indeed, when we prayed unto our Lord, the Lord has answered our prayer. I thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.